This is Janora McDuffie with a no more down low news break. The city of Los Angeles came out in full force to honor the matriarch of the LGBT community, Jewel Tice Williams, as she celebrates the 40th anniversary of the oldest black owned LGBT nightclub, The Catch One. How does it feel? Oh, it's more than words can describe. I uh, thought I had felt all the emotions in the top of every feeling that I had of joy and gratitude and appreciation. And then I walked in here and it went to another level. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Director Lee Daniels, LA Gay and Lesbian Center CEO Lori Jean, and Agape Pastor Michael Bernard Beckwith were just a few of the many dignitaries who came out to show their support. I was introduced to Catch One uh, many, many years ago when we first started to get involved with uh, fighting HIV and AIDS. And so Jewel is a pioneer. She had a place for people to come. And all of these young people who had been put out of their homes, who had no place to go, Catch One was it. Over the years, I've gotten to know Jewel and Rue. And the work that Jewel has done in this community is nothing short of groundbreaking and extraordinary. So I had to be here tonight to help laud her and to help celebrate. She's done so much for so many. And as we said earlier, she carries a strong elder consciousness and when people have been around for 40 years and that consistent, you gotta show up. The activities took place over Memorial Day weekend with events held at the Catch One in LA's Crenshaw District and an awards banquet held at the LAX Hilton. I've um, said it several times. You'll hear it probably again and again tonight. How appreciative I am of all the work that you have done. It all began in 1972 when Jewel decided to purchase this building on Pico Boulevard in the hood. It became the place to go where African-American same gender loving people found community when many nightclubs in West Hollywood made it challenging for blacks to enter. Today, the facility is a full service nightclub with meeting rooms and the Village Health Care Foundation serving those in the community who cannot afford quality health care. By the late 80s and 90s, Hollywood and the recording industry showed up at the catch as movies and music videos were shot on location. Stars like Sammy Davis Jr., Madonna, Sharon Stone, Janet Jackson, Sade, Christina Aguilera, and Pink are just a few of the many famous faces that came out to party at the catch. Oft times I don't know that they've come in because one of the reasons why our club was popular with them. Well, two reasons. One, it was considered underground because it was in the hood and, uh, you know, kind of off the beaten path and that. And the second reason was that they didn't have to worry about being uh, mobbed or they didn't have to come with guards. They could come in and dance and, and just be a part of the festivities that were going on there. And standing beside Jewel through the good times and the bad is her wife, Rue. Catch one! I'm hoping to catch a straight man in this motherfucker. <laughs> the highlight of Sunday's awards banquet was a performance by actress Jennifer Lewis. Now there's Miss Diane Cameron, Lena Horne and Earth Kid. They stayed on top for ages, but their looks never quit. Now with white women get older, this skin gets creased in line. But because of my race, look at my face. For highlights of the entire weekend, including an unedited clip of Jennifer Lewis's performance, go to the No More Download website. In Los Angeles, with a No More Download news break, I'm Janora McDuffie.